Alrighty then. I guess there's nothing left to do to it but to do it. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. We need to find all the punch cards. Embracing the erratic, an audio journey. This must be one of those sensory tank tapes. I didn't miss any punch cards. Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. Three is the filled in one. Critical thinking, not my forte. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Yes, that's that's what I'm looking at, lady. I don't. So I was assuming one, two, and then three, four, five, but this is, most of these are marked out. Looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. I 
right, so I've been doing it wrong. I'm still gonna try this. What do these whiteboards mean? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And I gotta grab all these things back so I can do it in the proper order when I do figure it out. Which will be never until I look on the internet and the internet tells me. Okay, so that's all the same. Try different combinations. One of them has to work. Yeah, I know, lady. Okay, yeah, that's a game cube. So let's say one is always going to be that. So one's always going to be that one. One's always going to be that one. Two is going to be the filled in circle. Because I'm assuming that arrow means switch them up. So that'll be that one. And then three will be the side one. Yeah, that one. And then four and five just have to be the other ones in whatever order. Which I'll take a lucky stab at it. Switch them up. That's what I'm assuming. All the other ones don't have to be reversed. Oops. All the other ones don't have to be reversed. It had to be reversed. All right, I figured it out ten times slower than a normal person. Woo the prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. I got Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. 
Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. A hiss? I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Hello, cover art. Here, this will lead back to central research. Threshold kids. Ah. Oh god, am I going to be attacked by puppets? By creepy puppets? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I want to be surprised. I just want to come back and the duck is gone. That's what I want. I just want the duck to be on the on the toilet. That would freak me the fuck out. I'm still waiting for something horrible to be in the bath. Can't do it till I got clearance five. I really, really wanted to do it. Like I have to have the fish there within a couple feet of it. But I can already say I need the uh, horseshoe face down. God, I can't do this till I get clearance five. Damn it.
Twenty plus to energy. Fifty percent to launch. Shot, don't care. Got 77, we're low on health. Let's find the other one. 30, we're low on health. Get out of here. I thought you would have had to act up a thing over there. This should be interesting. Welcome to my guided imagery experience. Lesson 1. Morito no Tamre. Exercise 1. The Forest of Positive Interaction. Shua Tokui Yoshimi Hakase. My name is Dr. Yoshimi Tokui. Trust my words. I'm here for you. Okay. Close your eyes, open your mind, and find yourself on the empty beach. I was actually closing my eyes. The waves are rolling in, and the seagulls are fighting over a discarded bag of potato chips. I believe they're jalapeno flavored. <laughs> I see something in the middle of the ocean. They appear to be trees. Perhaps they are ocean trees. Or perhaps they are metaphors for how you push people away. Let's find out together. Just walk over the waves, friend. The trees look lonely. Why don't you talk to them? 
Hey tree, how you doing? Hey, why don't you bark at me for a while? <laughs> You whisper to the trees. You tell them that they deserve love, that everyone deserves love. The trees agree. They will now go on to form healthy, respectful relationships with other trees or shrubs, whatever they prefer. <laughs> now let's leave these trees to their love. Voyeurism is impolite. <laughs> I sense a disturbance in our love garden. No! A menace. Don't you knock down those trees? They just want to make love! Go find it. Do not let it darken our forest of emotions. Forest of emotion! Oh, I forklift. It does not like the tree's romance. It is ruining our lovely beach with its hateful tires. Fuck you, forklift! It ran over one of the gulls. No! Such bloodshed. Ah! Turn off the machine. That girl had a family. His poor family! He had a present for his grandmother! Were for his pregnant, pregnant wife. wife! The forklift must be stopped. Ah! No! Stop, forklift! Stop! It was for his pregnant wife! Pregnant why? You did it. Yay! The murderous machine will kill no more. The trees can love undisturbed. Our beach is no place for forklifts or lonely trees. Your mind is a safe haven for love. Doesn't that feel nice? Aren't you feeling healthier? What about power? Oh my, it seems we're all out of time. Stay receptive, oh no, friend. Chikara's power. Actually was relaxing and strangely insightful. Embracing the erratic audio journey. What is this for? Welcome to my guided imagery experience. Lesson two. Kimagure wo ukeiru. This. Exercise two. Embracing the erratic. Watashi wa. Yeah. Uh -huh. My name is Dr. Yoshimi Tokui. Trust my words. I'm here for you. It's really weird that I'm doing this experience and in the dark, I see my reflection in my monitor. Anti glare my eyes, open your mind, and find yourself on a deserted beach. All I can see is myself sitting here in a white t-shirt. That's all I can see. The waves are crashing against the rocks, and the gulls are circling overhead, drawing ever closer. Hopefully there aren't any forklifts. I think it'll be alright. Are you scared of birds? If so, please try not to be. Look, a vending machine. You must be thirsty. Sir, 
ましょう。Let us go quench your thirst. I'm not getting any closer. Now I am. あなたのお気に入りのソーダがあります。ボタンを押してみましょう。They have your favorite soda. You know the one. Press the button. Root beer. 自動販売機が逃げていきます。追いかけてください。The machine has run off with your favorite soda. <gasps> Come back here, you son of a bitch! That's my root beer, you son of a bitch! Where are you going? Get me out of here! <laughs> I need my fix. I need my fix. I will fight for you! You're my favorite soda in the whole world! I love my soda! I would kill a man for this soda! I would kill a man for this soda! Give me this! Yeah! The soda tumbles out. Victory. But wait, it's not the right kind. Wait, stop! Premature. I guess you have to try something new. Kito, damn it! Go on, you might like it. Something. Wishy, desu yo ne. Atarashi okiniri ga dekimashita. How delicious! This is your new favorite soda. Atarashi mono ni chousen suru toki koso. When you try new things, you sometimes discover the best of life has to offer. That's a soda lesson for you. Ah, another personal realization awaits. Hurry over, run. Exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise is good for you, says the man who's been on this seat for about 15 hours. It's a dead person. This would normally be quite an upsetting thing to find, yes? Do not worry. Lower jaw, Larry! Why don't you try touching the dead person? It could be interesting. What kind of shit is that? Hi, Lord. No, Lord, Joe Larry. Oh, merciful gods. Dozen of more corpses appeared. Where did they come Dozen from? Dozen of more storms appeared. Oh, the stench. The horror. This beach will never be the same. It's all no, Lord, you no, that person. You made a grave mistake. Two lower, no lower Joe Larrys. Fix your mistake by hiding it. Bury these bodies. Clean your mind of the rot. Good God. <laughs> There's gonna be a lesson here about living with your mistakes. That was scary, wasn't it? And yet, you learned another lesson. You're scared of some things for a reason. Listen to your instincts. Accept that the world is random and cold. Fear is useful. Lots of good lessons today. Some things are good, some are bad. Don't you feel more prepared for uncaring cruelty of life? I know I do. This concludes my guided imagery therapy. You are now approved by Dr. Yoshimi Tokui to explore this rotating rock we call Earth.
Jesse fucking Faden. You're the best, Dr. Yashimi. Say that, I'm Jesse fucking Faden. Test out that passageway, see if there's anything in there. That'd be cool to pick up or something. I thought the duck was gone, but he didn't spawn in. I want that duck to be gone one of these days. So it's literally nothing. All right. All right, knock something somewhere.
So we want to go this way, into whatever lab this is, synchronicity. I want to check that out. I feel like I need to carry this thing around. Take that, synchronicity! Get synchronized with this, synchronicity! Down with synchronicity. But hello, costume. <laughs> Take that, Barry. Larry. Jerry. Get out of here. So, obviously, there's no way to get in there unless I complete the test, I guess. Because I know for a fact you have to take it off that mannequin. So, let's see what we have to do. is upsetting that two of them aren't going that's not very synchronicity uh, synchronicity not a lot of synchronicity there words are hard okay As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. Now, I thought this was with that by identically opening the decor of every room and then changing the channel in every room but one. That the single different television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms while experiencing the same emotional turmoil as one, including the first member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of psychological examination of the agents proved to be correlation. Interestingly, interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way we predicted. Oh, yeah, I didn't go through this one. The object is a light box used to examine x images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named Gary. The object allows paratailitarians to forcefully seize an individual's will. The seized individual becomes subservient to the user. The effect lasts... who knows. Once released, the seized as a result of physical trauma. Oh. Dies as a result of physical trauma? Janitor named Ati ba found the object in Skinner's hospital in... It's just a janitor. Cinnabella's occupants were by him. The Bureau dispatched an emergency response team to the perpetrator and the item fatalities numbered in the thousands. Oh, so the manifestations of his residence without the need of a host. His clusters of genetic compensations and they, 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 they help heal piss, basically. Resonance is the key. Vibration, frequencies, waveforms, fields we, we didn't know were there. <laughs> it's physics. These fields in complex interaction, altering reality that comes to contact with them. Hedron is communicating with me. He's trying to warn me of something imminent. I've been using every known method to analyze the data. 
exposing myself to it. I'm seeing things and overcome by compulsion. It's, it's not just data, it's, it's protection. It's benign. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, this is the part invasive the... resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. So Hedron's like Persephone or whatever the name is in my head. Altered item number 52A. Just slash six six five. What? To the other blessing. Behold the rain's law. Secret instructions will be lost. Ignore this message. Wow, another thing we can't do yet. A lot of these costumes are endgame costumes for some reason. Screw you, tables. in the synchronicity lab until we get number six. Do I just have too many weapon mods and that's why it's not letting me? No, I have enough room for more weapon mods. Damage roll, low health. third personal slot, I'm going to put that in there. Once again, I didn't get a good night's sleep. Kept waking up over and over again. When I got to be six hours, and that's three hours, and then three hours when I woke up, had some food, and then went back to bed.
this is fun. This is this is this is fun. I love having to sit here and make up things and talk and stuff to pass the time. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Ah. Wake up, man. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? No maintenance. this black rock processing why is the game treating it like it's not or like I should be able to get through there but I'm not, I can't I found it why is the game not updating
you know, it's right here. What am I supposed to do? Like, I, I, I can't float across. What do you want me to do? Then we go to, to the turbine room. see what that is. It is... More than 1,000 swords. 100,000 swords. had to do because it's showing me multiple things. I guess that's all I had to do. Assuming the turbines have something to do with me being able to get through. Like the bridge extends when you have it all installed correctly. I'm sure these turbines are used for something important. I'm just stopping them all.
probably passed a while back. I love that there are actually people. That's weird. Oh, God damn it. Well, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to make a couple of rooms look the same. So, radio on the right side. Chair out. And painting right side. Bada bam. This place is so weird. Okay, we need to find a way to Blackrock Processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. Yeah, this is a physical expression created by the oldest house. Its purpose and function are currently unknown. The specific shape and dimension of the atlas seem to indicate a more explicit purpose than the oldest house's usual walls. Or it shifts, the atlas changes form, resists observation when doing so, and a visual observation has been made during changes. Only occurs between frames when monitored by, when monitored by surveillance cameras. The previous theory is that this change corresponds to the house shifts and the atlas of the, of the itself. However, the shape changes do not occur at the same time as the building shifts to make the theory doubtful. To search for the atlas made of the same material as the rest of the oldest house, further observation will be needed. really have to pee, so this is, like, ironic. Thank <laughs> you. 
My gun seems to be the only thing that's effective against them, really. All their guns are like freaking pop guns. These things are just better off to listen to here. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a Butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream like haze. Inside, they found a door marked with an inverted black pyramid. And just like that, it led back to the oldest house, some 2,000 miles from Montana. N now we're finding the cord in increasing numbers throughout the Bureau. Somehow the two places, they, they became in tune to each other. The, the actual physical location of the ocean view is, is, is a mystery. Stepping beyond its walls has so far proven Impossible. A place of power. Like the oldest house. Our agents discovered a light switch cord in a butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel in the city. Yes, let it be known, Jesse Faden destroyed the world. Glad to see you're still you. I'm not doing so hot. You're fine. We'll push through this. The hiss of the ones doing the pushing, Doc. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Lowe. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. They've each taken a second. Secondary objective. We need to get them to a surgical station ASAP, but I don't think they're stable enough. Did you encounter any previously yeah. unrecorded event to or entity we are open inside out and the threshold? Not no. But do we know? Not. Do you think we should tell them about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in a quarry just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more I enchanting than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Because you never know. Hey, thanks for bringing down that. Whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the bureau is lost. We need Black Rock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Black Rock lab. 
So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Mm -hmm. Another day at the FBC. Well, Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Rush, yourself, but though. you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Knows the recent tension between French and Darling, they've both been acting odd, trying to preserve his post. His husband, not Tilly, George Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all this hedron research in the first place, but after Darling unveiled those at your eyes, he was livid. Of course, I don't see any reason not to equip your staff with the additional protective device. This business not. Because something's fire wrong with it. Something is obviously wrong with it. Uh, not enough materials to upgrade that. You can upgrade these things, but fine. Doesn't take a lot. I can use it to make a random mod at some point. Alright, well, I'll deal with this monster after I've used the bathroom because I've really got to go. So, the next. I need to get out of here. In a few minutes. I need to get out of here. Well, you two will see me next time. But you guys will see me.